Kiwi card still running, so it's just above break even. It's moved a little bit, it's starting to push to the upside slowly but surely. What's up and welcome to this week's video. So it's right now it's Thursday, I haven't had too much chance to film this week. There's just been a lot going on in the back end, so apologies for that. I haven't filmed too much this week or anything at all, but I'm gonna try and film as much as the week as I can left. Um, because there may be a couple of opportunities shaping up, just taking the one trade so far, which is Euro Dollar. So I'm gonna show you right there that right now. So as you can see, coffee spreadsheets must be back test in time. So uh, here we go. So I'll put the order on the screen right now just so you can see the confirmation. But where I got involved in the trade was as this bigger ascending channel starts to creep up to the top here, I took advantage of this short term move to the downside with that impulsive leg. And then I was taken out around this area. I think that, I believe that was Wednesday morning. So yeah, price did eventually just tank to the downside, but I'm happy with that. Stuck to the, stuck to the plan, stuck to everything that I know. So I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, quick 1.64% profit. So that's the only trade that I've taken this week. And yeah, it's pretty much it. I'm just so excited, man. I'm just so excited with, with the things that are going on in the back end, setting so many different things up. So <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm pretty pumped. But um, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the week. And if I take any more trades, I'll let you know. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking what data I'm collecting with the back testing. So I just wanna give you a quick run through of Something I've just finished up in terms of a Euro Yen. So check out this. Now, equity curve going up clearly, which is good. Slight bit of drawdown, which the max drawdown here was minus 3.06, meaning that I took a max of four losses. So it's three 1% losses, I believe, and then one very small loss of 0 0.06. So as you can see, very strong upwards trend here, followed by that drawdown period and then price continue to the upside. So this is 2020 so far. So obviously the year is not finished yet, but right now for this, this is up to the end of August. We can see that the, the profit and loss is 35.25%, compounded is 41. And then what else we have? Win rate is 69.56, which is fairly high. Arguably 70 to 80% is very, very high, but anything above 60, I'd say anything above 65, I'm quite happy with. Um, but obviously there's refinements and stuff going in place to continuously improve that. But happy with that. Strongest day we can see that we've got Thursday, worst day Friday. Then we've got the average win at 2.6%. The average loss at 1.36. I'm not sure why that is. I think that's because it's factoring in uh, more than one losses because I only risk 1% per trade. So I think that's it. And then total wins we've got 16 followed by seven losses zero break evens and then 23 in total trade. So that's what I'm tracking. And then just tracking the metrics behind that as well. It's just good to see things split into quarters. As you can see, currently pair return, daily performance, monthly performance as well. Like I like to see the fact that it's quite consistent month on month. So that tailored with every other statistic that I've got in here, just adds up to a nice portfolio of stats there. So yeah, if you want to add that into yours, feel free. yourself sort of thing okay let's roll with it right, let me try and think of a few more uh, so couple more couple more <laughs> we are back at the screen again so markets live markets back to the data I swear every time I make a clip I'm, I'm drinking coffee of some sort <laughs> anyway so let's have a look at the market so no trades taken so far, so it's just the one trade for me this week so far, and we're currently just gone 12 p.m. So it's, it's possible that I've taken a trade. However, it's unlikely, but we'll see. 
So I was looking at Urien for a potential entry. We haven't got that yet, but it may be something that develops towards the early start of next week, whether we get a short-term sell or whether we get a buy as well. So stay neutral on that pair. And then the other pair I have flagged as well is Kiwi Card. So if we take a look at Kiwi Card, this is just developing a little bit more. So price is clearly, if we just go to the daily chart, price is clearly still in that upwards trend to the upside. So just looking for continuation in the lower time frame. So as we drop to the lower degree, we can see that all I'm really looking for right now is a, just another variation of a continuation to then head higher. If we get that perfect, I'll take the entry. If not, then I'm happy staying out of that. So I won't take any trades past 5 p.m. So if this entry doesn't occur before, you know, 3, 4 p.m., I won't take it. However, if it does, then I'd be happy taking that and riding that into the weekend. But if not, I'll be happy staying out of that. But as far as the market goes, that's all I'm looking for today. I'm just gonna continue with the back testing, which I started yesterday. This is Euro dollar. And I'm, I'm gonna finish up with that. So Q1, Q2. And then I've got some other things on the cards on the back end, which I'm gonna start setting up and getting on with as well. So I'll catch up with you guys very soon. So I'm gonna see how the markets develop for the rest of the day, which will be interesting. And on the back end, while stuff is happening in the markets, I'll just be doing my thing. And there's a few things that I've set up recently. So I said a couple video go videos ago that I ticked off a 2020 goal. So that's been ticked off. And following on from that, I needed to take off this one goal to take off another 2020 goal. So also ticked off that as well. And it's funny how, it's funny how you can be working for like six months straight on a goal and then as soon as that goal's ticked off, it's like a spiral effect. It's like a momentum shift that takes takes place. And then so many things start to occur after that. So yeah, just really excited for the next um, couple of weeks, the next couple of months, and to see where things are at towards the end of the year. But got some things planned for YouTube as well, which I'm really excited for to share more things. But I just wanna let myself settle in a few things and um, then I'm gonna launch it. So it should be good, but can't wait. And, um, it's gonna be a good few weeks, but in terms of the market wise, I'll let you know. And if I do take any more trades, I'll let you know. So as I said, I was looking at KiwiCAD. So I actually got involved in KiwiCAD and it's starting to run nicely. So I'll see how that forms. But yeah, I got in that about, tell me on now, got about 25 minutes ago. So we'll see how that runs. Obviously gonna be holding that into next week, should it continue to run. So. Yeah, I'll let you know how that forms either in this video or next one. KiwiCAD still running, so it's just about break even. It's moved a little bit, starting to push to the upside slowly but surely. But of course, it's around about 6 p.m. now, so I'm obviously gonna hold that into next week. So what I'm gonna do is I'll likely do a vlog next week as well, so I'll add this in, uh, the result of this trade, and then follow on from there. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's been a bit mixed and match because I haven't had too much chance to vlog. Um, but I've tried to get in as much as possible in between my daily tasks and the thing that I'm doing behind the scenes. But hopefully you enjoyed the vid and uh, yeah, catch you all in the next one. Have a great weekend. Speak to you soon.